very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking of course again I have the full right to be really happy and proud of our results in the premium signals group and I wanted to tell you that we have finished this week with total of 525 pips of profit and there is a reason for that there was some really good and positive changes came to the premium signals group this week and the clients were really happy and glad for these changes and I will share it with you right now um, for example on 3rd February we can see here that we were in this we have ended that day in really good profit even the loss the, the one loss here was very limited of, of only 15 pips only while the other trades now we can see here that we have this uh, sign here next to the profit uh, logo so what is the reason here why how come you have 70 pips of profit and you have the stop here and the profit the reason is what we are doing right now is we are sending notifications to our clients to close the trade in profit when we are seeing the market is about to reverse or in case we are seeing the market is about to close on Thursday night uh, sorry Friday night so these are the messages we have sent to our clients on Friday night telling them to close all of the open positions in good profit we can see here 25 pips profit 40 pips profit 30 pips profit all all full of profits and also we are announcing when the when the signal hit that the take profit level one so we are leaving it up to them if they want to continue until uh, it hit the uh, take profit level two or if they want to close it and just end it with profit so uh, the clients are actually happy with this new style we received the uh, positive messages from them and even us actually we are feeling a lot better right now because the members are happy and grateful for this experience they are having in the premium signals group from extreme trader uh, i'm really proud and happy of angela's work and my friends if you really wish to join the extreme trader uh, premium signals group don't hesitate to contact angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact her today and you can experience our signals on demo first if you want and then you can move to the live account trust me you will be happy and hopefully we are going to make your targets and hope to see you there my friends and thank you so looking at the market right now and as usual we are going to start with the euro usd what we are f facing on the euro usd actually uh, i was expecting for the pair to continue rising more up here sorry up to here making bounce here at the, uh, reversing at the support and go all the way up to this resistance uh, on a second attempt and then gonna fall down however we can see that this has happened already Bef um, before I send the signal anyway ne the next thing we can see right now on the euro USD is right now on daily candles we are facing a strong support right here and right here as well what I'm expecting for the euro USD is gonna continue the bearish momentum but right not right now uh, from what I see here we can expect for the euro USD to make a bounce on this support right here hitting this resistance level and then gonna continue its bearish momentum falling all the way down until hitting this support level again that's on daily candles so let's just move now on the four hour chart and see it and see it more in action what we can see here is really strong bearish momentum the pair was trying so hard to make any possible reverse and to make any uh, even small pullbacks but however the pair just kept falling down over and over that's indicating a strength in the level and therefore we can say uh, peacefully i mean calm we can we, we can be calm and say that the euro usd is definitely falling down now the question is where can we place our trade now let me just tell you to be safe what i'm suggesting for you is expect for the pair on the euro usd to reverse on the support as I said and as we can see here we already have a resistance number one on the pair on the resistance we have a resistance number one on this level and we can see that the pair most likely is gonna make one bullish uh, reversal just making a pullback and then it's gonna make a resistance number two that would be good level to start shorting the euro USD now of course I have to mention that we are having here a zone let me just throw it for you like that and as we can see on the left we can see that we have here a resistance level right here 
I'm expecting for the Euro USD to make the reverse on this support and go all the way up, hit this resistance, and then gonna continue falling down. The, but the signal is being given on the lower level, right here. What is that? What is the reason? The reason is if we look at the left, we can see that we had here also a strong support level. And I believe that the pair might actually reverse right on the support before it reached this resistance. Before it reached that previous resistance and then going to continue falling down. So just to be safe, I will give the signal to short the euro USD right on this level. And you can expect for the pair to go against you for like 10 pips. I mean... Who, who care for that and then it's gonna be good uh, to again continue falling down and let me just tell you that we can expect for the pair to continue falling uh, down all the way until it hit this previous support level so we can look for almost 90 pips of uh, 90 pips of profit on the euro usd let me just write for you the entry levels so we can start short the euro usd on the level 1.09 806 and your tech profit level is gonna be on the level uh, 1 1.0860 hopefully this is uh, what will gonna happen for the euro USD and hopefully the signal is gonna uh, follow this uh, analysis let's check now the pound USD the pound USD is facing a very similar situation where we can see right now on the daily candles that we're having here a strong key support level and the pair is actually on it right now not to mention that we are having also here a support number one and the pair right now is facing a support number two again uh, the pound USD is on definite definite uh, bearish momentum it's easy to see that we have here this resistance level and most likely the pair is gonna reverse after making the bounce on the support going up all the way here hit this previous resistance level and from that point it's gonna be really great to start shorting the pound USD and we can aim some really good profits keeping the trade running until it hit this previous resistance right here so to make it shorter let's go to the four hour chart <clears throat> we can see that the pair has already hit that previous, previous resistance level therefore as I said we're expecting a bounce on the pound USD from the support level right here so the pair is gonna keep its position as a support and I'm expecting for the pound USD to bounce all the way until it hit this previous support level and then from that point it's gonna be good for short we can expect for the pair to go against our direction just a little bit uh, hitting this previous resistance right here so let, let me just give you the zone of our entries that is the maximum we can expect for the pound USD to go against it and that will be our good level to start shorting the pair so we can expect for the pound the USD to go against us for almost 37 pips before it actually gonna be great for the short however I believe it's gonna start uh, falling down right after hitting our entry point and let me just write it for you so we can start sell the pound USD on the level 1.29205 and expect for it to go against you for around 37 pips maximum hopefully and keep the trade running all the way until it hit this previous resistance right here or let me just be safe let me just be safe I will just choose this previous support here which was also a strong key support level in the past as well so we can look for total of 100 and 30 pips of profit uh, let me just mark for you our tech profit levels so this is going to be our tech profit on zero uh, sorry 1.27831 it is actually a very good signal for the pound USD I believe the market is going to be loyal for us and hopefully it's going to follow, the, follow this uh, analysis uh, I mean it's really sounds so easy for the pound USD for the fall let's check right now AUD USD now the AUD USD uh, as I said in the last week the analysis here is not so, not so easy because the pair is ranging on a very strong support level we can see that the pair has made one bounce here and again reversed right on this resistance so now we are in we are back in the same scenario where we can see the, the AUD USD 
st uh, um, hanging on that support level let's go to the weekly candles let's see what we can see on the weekly candles on the weekly candles what we can see here that the pair has made this strong bearish candle and it is of course on the very same level of the support here and reading these candles what we can see here on the last week candle the recent candle this one is indicating a strong pressure from the sellers the buyers were trying so hard to push the market however they could not end this week uh, in their in the in their favor and we can see that the last week or sorry two weeks ago they finished the, the they ended the week with this strong bearish candle then the next week or, the, or sorry this recent week they have finished also the week with this uh, candle indicating a strong pressure from the sellers therefore i believe that the sellers are controlling this market and most likely what we get, are going to see is the AUD USD is actually breaking out from this support level therefore i cannot give the signal right now to sell uh, the AUD USD. all i ha all i can say here is AUD USD seems like it's gonna fall down let me just delete all these ugly lines there is so many of them okay i just don't like see, to see so many lines in my chart uh, looking at the AUD USD, it seems again that the uh, AUD USD is breaking out from this support level and most likely it's going to continue falling more down. However, m that might not happen immediately, but it's going to happen anyway because we can see that on the left also we, can, we had here a strong resistance level right here and here as well. Therefore, the signal for the AUD USD this week is going to be for the short and I'm gonna select uh, the resistance zones wh where we can expect the pair to actually start falling at what we can see here is we had here this resistance level which was also a, strong, uh, a support in the past so we can expect for the AUD USD to, to make a small reversal before it actually start falling more down on this previous support level so uh, the signal for the AUD USD this week is gonna be for the short on the level 0.67056 and let me tell you something that we can keep the trade running all the way let me just see on the weekly candles because the daily candles not even giving me space and let's keep the trade running hold on let me just uh, look at the left to find this yes right here right here exactly yes that could be about okay that's a lot let's just be realistic here on this previous resistance right here all right so we can look for almost yeah 100 or almost 100 pips of profit on the AUD USD so our take profit level is gonna be on 0 0.65603 uh, hopefully the market will be loyal for this signal and we are going to make good profit out of the AUD USD Let's check right now the USD CAD. <clears throat> the USD CAD is actually having a strong uh, bullish momentum. We can see that the trend is just, let me just delete all these lines. They are just ugly. Uh, they are not letting me see what's happening in the market. So we, we, what we can see here on the USD CAD is a strong bearish trend. Uh, sorry, bullish trend. We can see that the market is moving like that. Uh, it's an upper momentum, and I believe what we, what we can see here that the USD CAD is gonna continue its bullish momentum. However, it is right now on this resistance level, and we can see that we already have two, and right now on third attempt of the resistance. Most likely, this means when when you are having a lot of. Let me just tell you something. Right now, the USD CAD is facing a strong support uh, zone, which helping the, the pair to actually continue rising more up. What we can see here is this zone here, like that. That is a support zone. We can see here we had a lot of support attempts on this zone here, right here, and right here, and right here. That's indicating that the pair is actually going to continue moving more up, and most likely it might reverse from this resistance. However, it will end hitting this resistance, uh, this uh, trend line, and then gonna continue its bullish momentum. Therefore, for the USD CAD, 
uh, we can expect the reversal as I said and let me just select where the reversal might actually happen on this support level right here let me just select uh, carefully I'm just looking at the strong support levels right here we can see that here we had a support and here it was also a support and right here as well so as I said the pair might reverse on this uh, resistance make the small bounce before it gonna continue its bullish momentum all the way until it hit this previous resistance right here so for the USD CAD we can start entering uh, with the buy order on the level 1.31539 and you can keep your trade running all the way until it hit this previous resistance right here right here let's be more realistic and we can look for almost 120 pips of profit oh no actually more oh my god I'm on the weekly candles <laughs> sorry about that okay <laughs> sorry uh, no no the signal has been changed I forgot that I'm on the week ca weekly candles that's a rookie mistake I mean <laughs> usually I'm not doing that okay let's select now on daily candle yeah that looks a lot better actually okay so that is on daily candles we can see that we are having here this uh, strong support level right here and right here and it was a support uh, also right here we can see the reversal has already happened right on the support however i cannot give you the signal to start buying the usd cad immediately because we are facing a strong resistance here most likely the pair is gonna actually reverse hit the previous support level before it starts its bullish momentum and again the same signal for the usd cad didn't uh, it didn't change let me just select this resistance as our target for this week so we can look for almost 170 pips of profit on the usd cad let me just be sure please and look at it again using trend lines i just want to be sure of the signal we are giving to our members and to everyone uh, just give me one second i'll be back to you after uh, doing some analysis all right as i said it seems really good because we are also on the fibonacci level 50 on the support level um we can start buying the pair right on the support here and you can expect for the pair to go against you just for a little bit only um not so much i think maybe around i don't know about maximum 20 pips before it start again reversing and going up in the uh, resistance level right here and let me just tell you the signal for the entry we can start by the usd cad on the level 1.32628 hopefully this is what we're gonna get and then we can start we can close the trade with profit on the level 1.34334 that resistance is gonna be our target hopefully we're gonna get them all let's check right now the usd gpy now what we can see on the USD GPY as I said uh, in the last week the signal uh, seems like it's ranging right now I'm, sh I'm sure about the coronavirus is affecting the USD GPY right now however we cannot expect for the pair to continue its bearish momentum after seeing this strong uh, bullish uh, trend happened uh, and to be honest frankly speaking I was expecting for the pair to fail breaking out from this resistance and that seems to be uh, not the case here I mean the pair seems like it has broken out from this uh, resistance and right now it is bouncing right on this support right here so what I'm expecting for them from the USD GPY is to make a small reversal on the support level and then gonna continue flying all the, its way all the way up here until it hit this resistance level and then we are gonna see what will gonna happen uh, after seeing the price action so going to the four hour chart we can see that the pair as I said has really made a strong support uh, attempt here and reversed right on it and what we can what we can see is we are facing here also another support level so USD GPY seems good for the buy right away we can start buying the pair actually on the opening on Monday I don't know how the candle is gonna open if you see the candle actually opened below this level right on this previous resistance we can start actually buying the USD GPY right away if you see the pair opened right here for example at the previous resistance 
uh, that's going to be really good level to start buying the USD GPY and you can keep your trade running all the way you know something let's just be safe I will just make it short signal for the USD GPY to start buying right on this level and exit the trade at this nearest resistance because I'm expecting for the pair to start actually its bearish reversal right after hitting this uh, resistance level here uh, that might take some time and I think the USD GPY is gonna make another ranging uh, period just like what happened right here so let's just uh, make it short USD GPY for the buy on the level 109.642 and we can keep the trade running all the way until the market hit the take profit level on 110.194 however uh, please be careful because USD GPY is very subjective right now uh, it's being affected by about the news of the coronavirus and it actually might not be really safe to trade the USD GPY because it's not moving based on uh, the support and the resistance nowadays it's just moving based on the uh, news we are hearing from China so please guys be careful and hopefully uh, everyone will be safe so let's now take a look at the USD CHF now the USD CHF going to the daily candles what we can see here that the pair has finally reached its way to this previous support level which was also a resistance right here and right here so what does that mean that means that the pair most likely is going to continue its bull, uh, bullish, uh, bullish momentum however we need to find the right moment to start buying the pair so as i said we are having this previous support and we are right now waiting for the right moment to start buying the USDC shift so we need to find a strong support level what I can see here is we had this previous uh, support here let me just mark it here like that so we had here this previous support and we can expect for the pair to make a small reversal making attempt number two of the support and then the pair is gonna be good for the buy however let me just be sure that on the left we had a strong support level right on this uh, same price we can see here right here we had this strong support level and right here as well and uh, let me just uh, check more to the left what we can see here exactly perfect very strong a strong key support level right here exactly that is what I wa that was I, that what I was looking for and even using the trend lines on the support level we can confirm also that indeed that is the, the best level to start buying the USD CHF and we can keep the trade running all the way until it hit this previous support right here which was also a resistance right here we had this previous support and it was here also a strong resistance most likely the pair is gonna keep its bullish momentum all the way until it hit this resistance level even we can see that on daily candles let me just be more realistic and safe to our members that's definitely more safe this resistance here is where the candles most likely is gonna climb its way up to and we can get about 81 pips of profit out of this trade so therefore the USD CHF is for the buy on the level 0 0.97509 and we can keep the trade running all the way until it hit the take profit level on the resistance on 0 0.98323 hopefully the market is going to be loyal to this uh, analysis and hopefully we are going to get them all now let's check the gold the gold I'm not having good luck with the gold recently uh, all I can hope is reading the price action properly I just wanted to con confirm also to you that the gold is being really affected about the coronavirus news it's controlling the market nowadays therefore uh, we are just hoping for a good price action indicating a strong uh, reversals what we can see right now is a reversal pattern this pattern here indicating a bearish reversal so most likely the gold is gonna fall down for this week uh, until it hit this previous support level right here and then is gonna continue the, bear, the bullish momentum all in all I believe the gold is actually going up uh, let me just tell you something that based on reading the candles and the price action this price action indicating a reversal however not strong reversal 
not a reversal that can actually might change the trend direction again this candle here is indicating a strength on the uh, a strength from the buyers they are controlling the market they are taking the market up with them and we can see that on friday night the candle has closed like that remember this is for our chart let's go to the daily candles and see how did the candle close on friday most likely we're going to see a reversal pattern after the market has hit this previous support level and it was also here a resistance as i said to you we can expect for this week candle to be actually like that reversing and then the market is gonna go up that is of course on daily candles let's go now to the four hour chart and be more realistic about our analysis and what i can tell you let's even go to the one hour chart just to be sure what i can tell you for the gold it depends of course where the gold is gonna open right now on the one hour chart we are having here this resistance level here and we can see that this resistance was strong after the after the pair hit this resistance level we can see the major fall on these candles the can the market kept falling down for more than six hours before it made one pullback and then again it made another strong fall down here it's indicating that this is resistance here is very strong and most likely is going to keep its position like that especially after seeing two attempts to break out from that from the level and the market just simply failed therefore we are not sure how the market is going to open on monday uh, what we can see from the current market from the current price action what we are having right now is the gold is going to fall down all the way until it hit this previous support level like that seems like the, the gold is gonna fall let me just uh, make it like that on this support level right here on this key support level and on this support attempts right here and let me tell you that that's uh, that we can keep the thread running all the way until the market hit this previous support and then from that point actually you logically the gold should be good for the buy so that's what i'm be, what i believe is going to happen for the gold logically it's gonna fall down to the support level and then it's gonna be good for the buy and it's gonna go all the way until it hit this resistance level again i just want to remind everyone that the gold is very subjective to the news please pay attention to the news keep your eyes on the uh, world events whatever can happen especially about the coronavirus thing please pay attention to them because they can change every word i said in this video so let me just uh, mention to you that the gold should be good for the sell right away sell now and again the sell now is good for the current price or for, for the for the current level maybe the market is gonna open friday night uh, to, uh, monday morning on this level right here in this case this signal is cancelled this uh, the gold is not good for sell anymore if the market has opened right on this level if the market has opened on this level also this signal is not for the, not good anymore because this is where i mentioned to buy not to for sell so please pay attention how the market is going to open on friday again let me just make it clear if you see on monday morning the market opened above this resistance this is the resistance we have here if the market monday opened above the resistance then cancel the signal if the market opened below the support level then cancel the signal and let me again and uh, tell you that we can buy actually the gold on the level 1563.54 i believe the gold should be good from uh, for the buy on this previous support here and we can keep the trade running all the way until it hit any of these resistance levels like this resistance sorry like this resistance here or here we just need we just need to see any good price action indicating that the gold is going to be good for the buy because all in all i believe the gold is going to continue moving up uh, after reversing after reversing on the support level and it's going to keep its uh, way climbing up all the way until it hit that, res that resistance level right here so anyway uh, that was my signal for this week and i hope everyone will make some really decent and good profit with these signals and hopefully guys uh, everyone is gonna have good profits actually so in the end um i just wanted to thank you for watching and 
I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.